The Congress alleged today that the audio was muted in Parliament to silence voices of protest against the government. The party shared a clip on Twitter in which the audio in Lok Sabha apparently went silent during opposition protests shortly after the proceedings began. The visuals showed opposition MPs protesting near Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla's chair and almost all members in the Treasury benches on their feet. There was no audio for almost 20 minutes. The audio was back only when the speaker spoke, first urging members to stop shouting and then adjourning the house for the day. The government has not explained why there was no sound in Lok Sabha. With COVID cases rising, particularly in six states, the centre has written to them, saying that they should focus on controlling the sudden increase in the viral infection. On Wednesday, the Union Health Secretary wrote to Maharashtra, Gujarat, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka asking them to stress on testing, treating, tracking and vaccination. The letter read, there are few states which are reporting higher number of cases indicating possible localised spread of infection and there is a need to follow a risk assessment based approach to prevent and contain the infection without losing the gains made so far in the fight against the pandemic. Yesterday, the Supreme Court reserved orders on a set of demands by centre and lawyers seeking changes in the guidelines introduced by the top court in October 2017 for conferring lawyers with senior advocate designation. The October 2017 judgment introduced a five-member permanent committee headed by Chief Justice of India and Chief Justice in High Courts for scrutinising the applicants and marking them under a points-based system based on the number of years of practice, contribution to judgments and publications, if any. Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav today slammed the BJP-led government at the centre for misusing central agencies to harass leaders and public representatives of opposition parties who pose a threat to the Bharatiya Janata Party. Akhilesh Yadav, who is in Kolkata to chair his party's two-day national executive, is scheduled to meet West Bengal Chief Minister and Trinamul Chief Mamata Banerjee this evening. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.